We are definitely in a post-antibiotic era. It's getting worse and worse. We must scramble to identify new methods of killing bacteria. We've been looking for at least 10 years now to find new alternatives to antibiotics, and there, and there are not too many. It's very difficult to kill bacteria and not kill you. I'm a professor at Rockefeller University and head of the Laboratory of Bacterial Pathogenesis and Immunology. We've been using antibiotics for about 100 years. And during that time, the bacteria have learned to become resistant to those antibiotics. Drug-resistant bacteria are one of the most uh, serious public health issues that we face today. We're losing the ability to treat infections. It's pretty serious. I mean, there are bugs right now that are resistant to all antibiotics. If you're infected by one of these organisms, you just hope that your body is able to control the infection. If it isn't, you're done. By the year 2050, which is not so far away, we will have more people die from uh, antibiotic-resistant infections than die currently from cancer. Well, what's happened over the years is, is actually the overuse of antibiotics because we're seeing these resistant issues. 